Tony Pedregon and John Force are coming up. Remember 2002, John Force? Big moment here. Yep, 100 wins then. Now he is looking to set a national record. He may be able to do it if he can back it up. At the same time, why not just add another win? Back at Houston Raceway Park, the O'Reilly Auto Parts Spring Nationals, part of the NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series. John Forrest, Mike Neff, puts him right where he wants him, ready to go for a national record. He needs the backup, the number he needs, 406 with a 1. There are the records now. 402 with the three, that's the, the current record, as you said, a 406 with the one to back up that 402 with the one. Now he can run 406 with the one or quicker and get that, but I can't believe that they would be going going for the record on this particular round. They gotta get around Tony Pedregon. They can't take him lightly, even though Tony's been struggling on paper. You think Tony doesn't have much of a chance, and I gotta believe that they're just not gonna go out there and push it too hard. But John, I mean, he only went down the track two out of four runs, so they gotta be careful. Well, John Forrest finds problems in the left lane. Tony Pedregon takes a win, a 470, 183 mile an hour pass. And John Forrest will not back up the national record. Imagine Caps is breathing a little easier now. Well, and I can guarantee you, I mean, John Forrest did not smoke the tires because they were going for the national record. There was no way. The Austin Coyle, Mike Neff, they are too good to experience. They were going to for the win, and they were just reading the lane, and they just missed it. When they tried to apply the clutch, it just spun the tires. John did a great job to get the car recovered. Watch his pedaling job. This is this is why John Forrest is still a great driver at 60 years old. That thing goes out there, spins the tires, gets sideways. He feathers it one time. Now, look, he waits till it's squared up right there. Boom, hits the throttle again because he sees Tony in trouble he couldn't have got on that throttle any quicker because if he had that thing would have wanted to rotate around he did the exact right job he just came up a little bit short Mike a lot of teams have the track meter out there that tests the grip on the racetrack I've been watching a lot of the numbers and I can tell you that the grip on that racetrack from the best point to now is down about 40 to 50 percent that's why these cars are slowing down it's all about the sun Yep, exactly. Go to Gary Gerald. Not often that a number 16 beats a number one, but that was the case when Tony Pedregang knocked off John Force. We talked earlier this morning. You were talking about some changes you were considering. I know it wasn't the greatest of runs, but did you have some kind of an inkling you might be able to pull this off? Well, because the conditions changed, and, you know, if the conditions were cool, we felt we could have made the, the, the correct adjustments. But, you know, when you're – John, I think their team knows that – our qualifying position wasn't reflective of what these teams are capable of doing. So two snap-on cars into the second round. It's still force. You know, he's he's hitting his licks right now. We have not been. But it's not about qualifying. It's what you do with it. And uh, that's that's a big win. It gives us another opportunity to fix the car because it's still not doing what we want it to. But you give us enough kicks at this thing, we're going to get it right. Thanks. Okay. Weekend that started so good for John Force Racing. First, second, and third in qualifying. John, a unique opportunity for you. Obviously disappointed that your daughter lost, though. To set the national record, Zippy thought maybe you guys could even have done that in Charlotte, but to not have those 20 points, what does that mean? Well, yeah, every point helps, but we got to get that. You can't race that way. That's why this morning I was joking around, playing with Schumacher. I don't want that in my head. My job is to win every round. The national record should be the last thing on your mind. If the track is there, you go for it. It wasn't there. So what we did was we tried to win. We couldn't get the job done. Ashley, great job out here. Gathered it up and got her the lights, but didn't win. So all I got is Robert left. That's all I got. That's uh, that's all I got. Robert Hyde. I got one car left. I had three cars. I got one.